Uh, so the dinner went magnificent. Um, the dinner probably didn't go magnificently. <laughs> That's bullshit. Because <laughs> yeah. I mean, Must they had no they had, they had raw the steak with no <laughs> with no cutlery. So, just so. saying, that's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. Far um, arrived, Mister Grand Lee left to visit the garden. The okay, housemaid fine. discovered. Yep, the it's the dinner. The housemaid did discover them, as far as we know from before. Yeah. Um, and Monsieur Grand Lee did apparently go to the garden because that's where he got moitered. Okay. So that would that would be okay. I just want to look through what I have. Yeah, because like we have that cigar idea. from the garden, and we have the uh, this camera box. That's right. Uh, Wait, maybe just say garden, and then we just no. just give him a cigar. Well, no, we don't that's, know that's not what's wrong with this. That's, yeah, that's not. We're not there yet. I think. Yeah. Can he? At oh, he attended the banquet. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, he's... Sorry. Yeah, he was there taking... The I'm not sure if he, like, showed up, like, after... Uh, this is a red herring. Yeah. I assume that actually does nothing, but we'll keep it. Of course. Yeah. Um... What about the letter? What did the letter say again? That's, uh... It's just, uh... Okay. Her dad. Yeah. Alright, so... All right. so it's really not all that much to go on. Yeah. Yeah. The, the defendant's dad called for legal counsel. Alright, here's what we're doing. Can I save? Around. I want to save. Yeah, go for it. You can save, probably. Well, uh, well yeah, you can. Aha! Oh, okay. That's a reasonably quick save. Does it save me right there? Um, go to the Palais de Justice and see what happens. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. No. God damn it, we shouldn't have done that. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, we can just we can just tap through this. So we were saying that the dinner went magnificently, it was the part to press. Yeah. We're back now. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, sorry, I've used it, yeah. Oh yeah. No. Very well, ask away. Grouting the stone cutlery. <laughs> I don't think either of these are anything. Um, I don't think the red herring is anything, but the stolen cutlery could very well be like, ah, you planned the dinner to be like, uh, mm, hands bloody. Mm. Okay, um, we'll 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 do that. Yeah. Earlier today, we established that silverware was stolen from your residence prior to the banquet. Indeed, I am aware of whom the culprit is, but I have decided not to press charges. It is curious then you decided to serve steak. Isn't the, isn't what one would describe as finger food, after all? Whatever. I don't know about that, Falcon. With the right attitude, all food can be <laughs> finger food! <laughs> I like, I like the kind of... There's the nothing curious gross. about it. Senor Portois and Dame Cataline are vocal lovers of rare steak. I was merely suiting Wait, their... Wait, I don't think that's true. saying they weren't, but I don't think that that's like... I don't feel like that, that. Yeah, that's never been specifically established, but, uh... Yeah. Besides, what uh, other choice did the Baron have? Falcon? Mm, serve vegetable broth? Like, uh, uh, common peasant? Do be quiet, prosecutor! Jeez, man! You sound ridiculous! <laughs> what a fucking S ass. Sorry, Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have another here. question about the dinner? I was gonna chew on the Baron's carrot. Baron's carrot. E Probably not. I don't. I kind of feel like because we covered the steak and the silverware. Yeah, it's not really. I don't. I don't know that there's anything else about the dinner. Oh, yeah, it happened at six. The picture was at seven thirty. I feel like the garden, so I can grill them about the cigar. grill them about the cigar, cigar. butt. Yeah, I mean that's. I really don't have a good reason myself, but I, I mean like yeah, because yeah, we have the cigar. If, if that's all we could get out of pushing him on the dinner, then I definitely agree. That must be. We gotta do. Baron, we saw the murder scene in your garden for ourselves. When was the last time? Yeah, yeah that's a good Hell question. Yeah. What's with all the horses? Yeah, well, when, when was the last time you ventured into your own garden? As it happens, I have quite serious allergies. I have a hard time believing I you. haven't been in my no, own no. garden for years. Huh. Years, you say? Indeed. Ooh. Nah, dog. Nah, nah. Baron, I do not wish to call nah, you a liar, but this claim does not hold up to scrutiny. Oh, and why is that? 
because we have hard evidence that you vi visited the garden recently. Boulder Dash! My word is gold! <laughs> Go shit! <laughs> All right. Show the court this so-called hard evidence that I've been in my garden. We have found this fucking thing. This was found in your garden. To be specific, it was found inside the fountain basin. Right beside where the murder occurred. Uh, a cigar butt. That, uh... That, um... <laughs> that could belong to uh, anybody, and... Prosecutor, please shut your <laughs> mouth. Wowzers. I can speak for myself. <laughs> I think that's pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. <laughs> that is indeed the remnants of one of my cigars, but I must apologize, Monsieur Falcon. I misunderstood your initial Bullshit. question. Bullshit. He like was like a hundred percent on that. Like, yeah. Nah. You see, prior good. to the banquet, I hadn't visited my own garden in uh, years. Fuck you. But naturally, after hearing the housemaids cry for help on the evening of the murder, I rushed outside. Hmm. That's a pretty good answer you got there, motherfucker. So now we gotta untangle a web of lies. Yeah. I was shocked and disgusted by what I saw. That must have been when I dropped my half-smoked cigar in the fountain basin. You see, Faki, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. I would find that believable if the cigar were casually discarded. But as it happens, the cigar butt was found in the fountain's upper basin, a location that could only be accessed with great inconvenience. Oh, that's true. You do have to, like, climb up into it. Yeah. yeah. That's true. We had to like, make a big to-do about it. Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. And st and a little paddling! <laughs> the cigar butt was not dropped. It was deliberately hidden. There are any number of possible explanations. <laughs> and I can't think of one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come up with any of them. Yeah. Are there? Because I can only think of one. That is, that you, Baron Rogel, Rogel, deliberately hid your cigar butt to disguise your own illicit activities. Did I now? And what illicit activities would those be? You want me to spell it out? Fine, let's put everything on the table. You, Baron Rogel, murdered Monsieur Grenwy. That is why you are trying to keep it hidden. Directly accusing me of murder? <laughs> How shamelessly brazen. <laughs> <laughs> that is a ludicrous accusation, Fabian. The Baron can... The, the Baron is an upstanding citizen of the highest order. <laughs> Your allegations is baseless. You have no evidence, no uh, means, motive, or opportunity. No evidence? Think harder, Monster Remington. Every piece of evidence points to Baron Rogel as a prime suspect. You want the means? The Baron certainly had the means. His lion claws are sharp as a surgeon's blade, and gutting a frog belly would be trivial. Even Monster Robinio confessed his moments ago he feared his claws. Ridiculous! He's I would never threaten a man with violence! He has gloves on his own. The Baron had at least 10,000 frogs for the motor. By removing a business partner, the Baron's share of the railway company increased from one third to one half. This is preposterous! Finally, the Baron had an opportunity. No, he crafted the perfect opportunity. By arranging a small bank with a very select number of guests. He was aware of his missing silverware, yet he served steak, a food item that nece necessitates good cutlery. Why? To bloody the hands of his guests, of course. Then, he hired an easily influenced photographer and staged a specific picture in order to build a perfect alibi for himself. Photographing the, the guests in front of the, uh, the handless clock. clock to make for an easy editing is quite an ingenious plan, it must be said. Prosecutor! Are you just going to let this slanderous <laughs> yarn go uncontested? Say something! Object! I love that. He's like yelling at me. I, uh, um... Oh, you're pitifully useless. After executing the murder, the Baron found himself still holding a single piece of incriminatory evidence. 
his finished cigar. He knew that leaving it at the crime scene would raise suspicion, but he didn't have time to properly dispose of it. So out of desperation, he threw it into the fountain, out of the sight of his guests and any snooping police. I imagine the Baron was hoping to implicate Signor Porturo Demio, since that would ensure total control over his railway company. And the one who pooped the bed is... <laughs> both of you at the same time! <laughs> A last name Catherine was first to happen upon the crime scene, so the Baron improvised. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> no, but I, I did the, the bed. Because poop was funny. Yeah, <laughs> I did the poops. This is an outrage! Judge, I demand you disbar this writing lunatic! God damn it. No, there is only one outrage here. That is, a man like yourself is able to abuse his wealth and status to frame an innocent girl for murder. You're a bourgeois of the worst kind. How dare you, Garson! The utter nerve for lying scumbag of a lawyer to accuse a philanthropist like myself of something so heinous! I'm nothing like the fat cat bourgeois! I'm a respectable, hard-working capitalist. No, you're a ruthless man who would slaughter a dear friend just to reap a few francs. You incredulous whelp. I have to gut you right here and now, like... Like... <laughs> like a damn frog! <laughs> oh, man, that's great. This is so good. This is a good game. I fucking... I play the shit out of this. this Holy one. shit. Could... Could someone please restrain the Baron? How? He's a damn lion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you? I'm on it, Yana! <laughs> Let's go, old man! To the conciergerie with you! <laughs> Don't touch me, you filthy jackdaw! Oh! I can walk myself! That was racist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. it is, yeah. Woo! That got pretty intense. This is quite a turn of events. Does the prosecution have any interest in grad? Oh, yeah, well, in a manner of speaking, um, uh, well, to be honest, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then I shall now confer with the members of the jury to come to a decision. I ask that all animals of the court please be patient in this time. Jeez. <laughs> Falcon, that was pretty incredible! Thank you. I just hope it was enough. What do you mean? You just proved Caterline's innocence. We'll get a not guilty verdict for sure. Hmm. Sparrowson, I think you've misunderstood something important about the justice system. What's that? I haven't proved anything. As lawyers, we cannot deal in proofs. It's just not possible. All we can do is organize the evidence and convincingly explain what it suggests. I haven't proved Dame Catalan's innocence. All I've done is demonstrate that there's a significant possibility that she's not guilty. I'm not sure that I understand the difference! <clears throat> we have reached a decision. In light of recent revelations, it is clear that an error of judgment was made with the initial arrest. On that note, we unanimously find the defendant, Dame Cataline de Miao, to be... Oh. Not guilty. Yay! We did it! He's not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's like this image of a fat bird sitting in the fucking like woodcut. <laughs> this says not guilty. What's <laughs> our falcon, petite Swarrowson? You did it. Yeah, I suppose we did, didn't we? We should head back to the office so we can celebrate properly. We're getting smashed. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Falcon! You got really smashed! credits. <laughs> this was a group achievement. <laughs> I'm so life. proud of you both. <coughs> I'll go get one bottle of wine and three of our least dirty glasses. You were amazing, Monsieur Falcon. Ah. Uh.
It was nothing. I very much like the way you pinned the murder on the Baron. That was an act of sheer genius. Well, I didn't pin anything. Sparrowson and I just worked on them for... <laughs> Barely the truth, given the facts of the case. Once you're a falcon, no need to play coy. The case is over. Play coy? Don't tell me you're actually being sincere. I'm completely lost. Oh, wow. I thought the goody-goody thing was an act, but you actually don't know. All right, I'll spell it out for you. I did the murder! Oh, shit. <clears throat> I am so what invested. What the fuck? Yeah. I murdered Monsieur Grenwy. Oh my god. I saw him in the garden, all drunk and vulnerable, and I seized my opportunity. Oh my god. She's a criminal. There was nothing personal, just business, you understand? Of course. Mm -hmm. Business. Well, it's because you brought it up, like, like he kind of had doubts at all, so it like, kind of says that, yeah, of course. <laughs> like... Yeah. Just in stories, it's I like, yeah. my papa's share in the train company, of course. My papa always said that the drunk old frog was the weakest link. Oh my god. Your confession doesn't make any sense at all. I found Baron Rodriel's cigar butt hidden in the garden. Oh, I put that there. I expected the police to find it, but I suppose that was putting too much faith in the brains of Paris' finest. <laughs> the Falcon proved that Monsieur Robino's photograph was edited. It was edited. I wasn't in the picture because I was busy paying a visit to Monsieur Grenwy in the garden. Oh, thank you. My papa knew I needed an alibi, so he ordered Monsieur Robinho to paint me over Baron Rodrigo and add hands to the clock. That lazy artist didn't manage to finish altering the photograph by trial day. Huh, then why did the, the photograph have her originally? It's a good thing that Monsieur Falcon was so imaginative because that could have gone very yeah. badly. Yeah, when we saw it in his room, it yeah. had her in it because that was an actual. Because oh, because he was, he was uh, like going over it, I thought. Yeah, but like, the thing is, like. Yeah, he that... was, but, but then the one at the trial has. Well, Rogel in it. So, like. Yeah, that's. The one that... What I'm saying that doesn't make sense is that, like, she's saying yeah, it was supposed to be painted over not. to be her instead. Yeah. She she said she wasn't or was in the picture. Ah, whatever. She said, no, she she wasn't in the picture. Yeah, because she was killing the thing. Yeah. So, so why that was that... she in the picture we found in... I feel like I'm missing something very basic. Yeah. Yeah. I, I must <clears throat> admit... Not really or it something. doesn't make sense. Just just carry on and see. Or maybe, see or maybe, maybe the trial, clear. or maybe things go differently if you like do different stuff. Like, it's like a good we thing just have to do something wrong. So imaginative, <laughs> because that would have gone very badly. Ooh. What's with the silence? You should both be proud. There aren't many lawyers in the lawyers in the whole of France that could have won a case like this, even for a bourgeois kitten like me. I think you should leave. Your clothes Fine. on the floor. So much for the celebrations. Here's the payment for our services, straight from my papa's pockets. Well, adieu, Monsieur Falcon. Adieu, Petite Sparrowson. Falcon! What do we do? Glug, glug, glug. Falcon? Oh, God. Huh. Uh, oh. Well, I guess it's... Well, we want to stop there? We'll stop there. For sure. now. Yeah. And we'll... I'd like to know what happens after that, because that's fucking weird. And we'll pick it up next time on Basement Quality. <coughs>